Hello, hello, and welcome to Creative Chaos or Intuitive Art, whichever way you want to look at it. Either way, it's fun. My name is Danae, and I'm with Simply Danae, and today I am going to try out four different acrylic pours. I'm going to do each one as an individual video, so you guys are not stuck watching 12 hours of video, and I'm really hoping that I can keep them as short as possible. But I have a client who wants a 24 by 48 done in primary colors. And I want to try some different techniques so I can show those to her and see which one she would like more and possibly go with that one for her. Let me adjust my light just a little bit up here. we go hopefully that'll help so the first one I'm gonna do is gonna be a Dutch pour um, if you're not familiar with that you'll see what it is uh, this is an 8 by 16 the second one I'm gonna do is gonna be a dirty pour flip cup the third one I'm gonna do is an open cup pour and then the fourth one I'm gonna do is a wrecked ring pour so of those four I have tried three of them I've never done the wrecked ring pour so that one could be interesting let's just say so first of all I'm gonna show you guys the colors I'm gonna use and we'll go from there so because she wanted it to be primary colors of course we're going with red blue and yellow um, I picked a few different shades of each color because I wanted to have this, let this have depth and definition, and she wanted a really vibrant um, painting to hang in her home. So with that said, let's go over the reds. <coughs> the first red is Liquitex. Well, here, let me show you the right container. The uh, Liquitex, and it is the color <coughs> um, Nephil Nef Crimson. We're just gonna call, call it Crimson, and we're gonna call it good. I do not have my blue one up here, but the blue I'm going to use that is also Liquitex is primary blue. And then for the yellow, I'm going to use a Liquitex, um, what is it, cadmium yellow medium. And then from there, I picked up today some Mastercraft. I haven't used Mastercraft before, so we'll see how this goes. So for the red for Mastercraft, I have just the plain color red. And these are pre-mixed. I've never used a pre-mixed paint either, but they were on sale at Hobby Lobby, so why not try it, right? We're gonna try it. And for the blue, I have the um, Master Touch Navy, and this is such a gorgeous color, oh my goodness. And then for the yellow, I have the Master Touch Color Sunshine, and then from there we have, in the reds, I have the um, Color Art. This is a mica powder. This is called Candy Apple. These mica powders are the best thing ever. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. So if you're ever looking for a mica powders for acrylic use, I would definitely look up Color Art fantastic product fantastic product so that is mixed in here in this candy apple red oh, look at this okay and then in the yellow I also did a color art in the color pineapple crush oh, hello you can tell I like this color it's almost gone I'm gonna have to buy more but that's what it looks like in the container and then I didn't do one of the color arts for the blue. What I did do is I did a master touch in the color sapphire. 
and I mixed it with an interference violet blue and some of the Unicon crushed crystal, which is, look at this. I'm going to try not to get it all over my painting, but look at this. <sighs> Hello. Have to go slow or it goes all over. Look at that. I have some of that in there. So that's going to be the three blues, three reds, three yellows, and then to offset all of those, I also have a gold, which is a mica from um, Picasso. I have, again, not sure I'm going to use these. This is from Solar Color Coat. This is Diamond Dust Red Shimmer. Of course, you can't really see any color in it until you get it on there. And then again, I have the Interference Violet Blue that I've added to the Sapphire. So those are our colors. We're going to start off by putting our house paint on here. Yes, it is house paint that I got from Walmart. And I believe, do I have the can sitting here? It is called, it is the brand. It's the brand I knocked over on the floor. So it is the brand Color Place color place so if you want to try something like this color place classic paint you don't have any tint added to it or anything so let me get going so this isn't a 12 hour video it's already six minutes so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cover my surface and I am going to double double glove my right hand because I usually like to move it around with my hand. I feel like that's the best way to get coverage. I know there are some people who use their uh, blow dryers. There's some people who do other things. This is this is my way for now. Again, uh, still a little new at acrylic pores. So here we go. Da 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 da. Look at that pretty white. Okay, here we go. By the way, if you don't like somebody who's a little quirky, a little odd, I might not be for you. But if you're cool with a little quirky, a little odd, that's, I'm your girl. I'm your girl. I, um, I'm not a neat artist. You're not going to see the neatest, best looking studio ever when you see my stuff. Because I believe that when you're doing art, you should do the art. It should be, should be beautiful. You should completely get into it. And you shouldn't have to worry about every little detail of how clean your surface is or whatever. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not saying be a complete slob. I'm just saying, and I clearly had color on this and didn't realize it. I'm just saying, have fun with it. Um, you don't have to be ward cleaver. Or, uh, is it ward cleaver? No, it is. Anyhow, you don't have to be, you know, like Martha Stewart, a cleaver. You don't have to make it perfect and pretty and, and everything. Have fun with it. Clean it up later when you're done with your art. That's the kind of artist you're going to find with me. And I'm also kind of quirky and I like to go outside the box sometimes. So I might say, hey, this is going to be a Dutch pour and it could turn into something else. It just could. All right, I'm going to lose this top glove. We have plenty of paint on there now. Sauce that in the garbage. I am going to take my torch and I am going to quickly go over top of this to pop the bubbles. You're also, I'm also not here to do uh, tutorials or to train you guys, teach you guys how to do this stuff yourself. I'm just going to share with you what I'm doing because, uh, again, I'm kind of new at this and I don't feel like I am experienced enough to do that for you. Um, I'm going to move this around a little bit so I have a little more even of a coat. The house paint tends to have a little bit different movement than like an ac regular acrylic paint. So I'm getting used to that yet. All right. So I don't know if you're familiar with a Dutch pour, but what a Dutch pour is, is you put your paint on your palette or your canvas. I don't know why I can't say canvas today. And then you use your hair dryer to move it around. That's the part I'm not good at yet. <laughs> So we'll see. We'll see. I'm trying to imagine doing that on a 24 by 48 and thinking that hurts my head. So we may not do one of these for her, but I'm still going to do it for the practice and to, well, for the practice. Um, I still have some bubbles on here that didn't come out for that. I don't want to use heat on it yet 
So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to spritz it a little bit with my alcohol. It is 90% alcohol. I have a spritzing container so it doesn't just spray it on there. It kind of mist it across. And you can see there are no bubbles left. Yay! It's magic. Okay, so we're going to start off with, um, I'm actually going to, yeah, I'm going to start off with our crimson red. And I'm just going to, provided it'll come out, here we go. I'm just going to kind of go across here and do a small strip. And the cap is doing something weird. And then I'm going to go to, I think I'm just going to use two of each color on this since this is a small um, canvas and I don't want to overdo it with too much paint on it. So the next one I'm going to go ahead and use is going to be the Candy Apple Red by Color Art. Wait till you guys see this. Look at that. It's so pretty. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Love it. All right. I lied. I'm going to go ahead and do the other red. I'm just going to do just a bit of it. Just a bit of it. So I'll do like some little drips and I know anybody who's watching this that maybe does these is going to go, that's not how you do it. Well, it's how I do it. All right. And then of course, yellow is going to be next and I'm going to go with the cadmium or cadmion, however you want to say it. Da -da 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 -da. Little strip, wipe off her cap. And then I'm going to go with the sunshine you are my sunshine all right by the way that is my granddaughter's name sunshine myla sunshine and this is her favorite color so go figure and then i'm going to do a little bit of that pineapple crush pineapple crush is so so vibrant and then we're going to go on to our blues. And the first blue I'm going to do is the primary blue. There we go. Look at those colors already. That's crazy. And then I'm going to go with the sapphire. And this is the one that's got some interference in it. So it'll kind of give it a pearl type look. And it has a little bit of the uh, crushed crystal. And then we're going to finish off with the navy. Well, that's not where we're going to finish off. It's going to be the last blue. And again, with the navy, I'm just going to do little bits here and there because it is a dark color and, again, small canvas. And then we are going to finish off with the gold. I think gold just really brings out the vibrancy of primary colors. So we're going to get a little bit on there. And then we're going to take our cell activator. Now I have two different cell activators I made and I want to try both of them. I don't know which one to try. So I'm going to put one on each side because I'm weird like that. So my first cell activator. And I am new at creating my own cell activators. So we'll see how this works too. Um, both of them have American Floetrol in them. Uh, both of them have some of the white paint in them. There's that. And then we're going to take a little bit of the white paint. And let's see if I can get just a little bit to squeeze out and not the whole dean jug. Because this thing is uh, a little moody. All right, we're just going to pour it out of the top. Here, we're going to pour it into a cup and then pour it on there. Because this thing, all the artists I watch rave about these things. But. I just got it today and I'm not used to it yet and it's not my friend yet. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to put a little white along each side so it almost covers this. And the moment of truth. Will this work, guys? Will this work? What do you think? Let's hope so. All right, you are going to hear a blow dryer for that. I apologize. So if you're ever going to do anything like this, you're going to need a blow dryer that has a tip like this. Um, I actually would like to get a couple smaller tips, so that's something I'm going to work on. So when you do a Dutch pour like this, you kind of blow it one way, back the other way, and so on. Across, 
I'm going to have to be a little more careful since, again, this is a small canvas, but wish me luck. Here we go. one of these now I'm not sure I like this area here so I'm gonna pause you guys for just a second and go get a straw and I'll show you what I'm gonna do with the straw all right I'm back okay so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit this with a little bit of heat because you can see that we've got some really gorgeous cells going on already at least I hope you guys can I'm gonna close you in a little bit just a little bit maybe it'll let me why are you not letting me let's see Hmm. Let's see, are you, there we go. And then I'll move this over a little bit, hopefully, so you guys can see. There we go, so you guys can see I've got some cells going on already, which is gorgeous. And I'm gonna hit this with a little bit of heat, which should activate more cells. Now when you hit this with heat, you don't want to uh, keep your heat on there so long that you create a skin on this because you can burn your painting. All right, so here we go. Plus, this will remove any bubbles that I have. Now, since I have the Floetrol in here, Floetrol can make great uh, cells, but... It can also be kind of slow at making cells. So I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with the straw here. I'm gonna use this to, uh, I'm gonna turn the painting so I can get in here where I want a little more. I have a very small space. Oop, there we go. Now you guys can see those cells a little bit better, I think. There we go. And then I'm going to take the straw and I'm going to use that to do things like this. And that gets you a little more movement in this. Breaks up the colors a little bit. Now, if you're watching other people, you'll see that some people will actually just do it with their mouth, not using a straw. I'm unable to do that because I have asthma and I would probably pass out. <laughs> so the straw is my friend. I'm gonna bring this a little bit closer. Get a little bit of that white out of there. And then I'm going to turn her back around. Oh, this is looking pretty. That is awesome. It looks like a feather. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that is gorgeous right there. I don't know why. I'm losing some of my white right there, but I am. All right, and then I'm going to Now I want to be careful because I don't want to make the colors muddy either. All 
All right, there we go. And now I want to try to get some of this out of here where it kind of flicked around a little bit. We're going to get that out of there. We'll replace it with a little bit more white. So we can cover that up. There we go. And I would say this actually turned out pretty good. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. I love the colors. It's crazy to think that this is just primary colors, right? So this is just reds, blues, and yellows. And let me try to get a little bit more of this out of there. So hard to get across here. There we go. And I can kind of bring it out. I want to go across there. And then I'm going to bring my fingers around the edge to make sure I've got paint on all of my edges. I have the bottom taped. That way we don't ah, oh, that way we don't end up with paint dripping from the bottom. And then once this is dry, I will give it a coat of epoxy resin and that'll make it shiny and gorgeous and it will really really make these colors on here pop even more. All right, I really want to get rid of these colors and I am determined. So, put a little more paint on there. I love this. Looks like there's a feather right here. It looks like there's a feather right here. I'm going to pop this down a little bit so you guys can see it. Maybe. Here, let me just raise it up. See if I can raise it up for you guys. So you guys can see those. But, look at that. Looks like there's some feathers there. It looks like a feather right here. That's so beautiful. These colors are amazing. And these cups keep falling over. So I ordered myself some things to go underneath your paintings, but I don't like them. So my husband's going to alter them for me because he's a welder and a um, engineer. So he can or fabricator, not an engineer. Woo! He'd be, he'd be like, what are you talking about? All right, so there we go. That, I would say, looks pretty good. Like, I'm not entirely happy with the little colors here, but what I might be able to do is just kind of come in here and just grab little bits of this and bring it out into these colors and then it won't make those stand out so much. And this actually looks really pretty. Oh, ooh, I like it. I like it, like it, like it. Again, quirky, quirky, quirky. You guys will get used to it. All right. So, do that. I'm going to wipe this off. And I'm going to take a little bit of this and do that. Oh, that red. That's beautiful. And I'm not going to touch these feathers, but I will take this up here and do that. There we go. I don't know. I think that I could probably do this on the big one. It's just going to be probably just a little more work to cover the full surface since it's going to be a 24 by uh, 48. <laughs> All right. And I'm going to bring this up into that feather a little bit. Look at that. Okay, I'm happy. I'm happy. I got to take a little more heat to it because there's still some bubbles in it and we don't want bubbles because it will dry that way. So let me see what I can do. I don't really want to hit it with alcohol at this point because uh, alcohol sometimes will give you lots of tiny, tiny cells and that's kind of not what I want right now. So I just want to get these bubbles out of here. And we will call that good. Look at that. Ah, I'm a happy camper. All right, so let me take the phone down 
So I'm going to pause this for a second. I'm going to take the phone down so you guys can get a better idea of what this looks like. It might not be perfect, but hey, the colors are amazing. All right, here we go. All right, look at this. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Look at all that lacing in the cells. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at that. I am really happy with how this turned out. Oh, those colors though. And then look at this, this is one of the feathers. Do you see that? Doesn't that look like a feather? That's amazing. And then we have another one over here. Let's see if I can block out the light a little bit for you guys, but it's so gorgeous. And then you go into this amazing red. This is beautiful. All right, guys, thanks so much for taking the time to watch this video. Again, it is pretty much here. Let me try something just a second. Ta-da! So it is pretty much um, new experience to me making videos like this. So I hope that you'll come back and watch more. Please do me a favor, subscribe, like, um, share, do all those things. And that will help me get more viewers. And once I hit 1000 viewers, I can do lives on here. Lives are my thing. I do those every day for my regular job. So yeah, thank you for watching. Again, I am Danea with Simply Danea. Don't be afraid to bring that chaos into your art.